deflected. I don't think from this position he'll be able to make much of a difference and actually decides he's going to go away. Is he going to continue to try for the gank? No, seems that way. Oh, and a pink ball goes down. Perfect position. And Kevin is once again blind for anything coming from that middle side. And rated at the moment, being pressured by Ocelot there. You can see he's been catching him with all the poisons. All, all to use there. Linux, the mob has got straight in from You can see he's got Linux coming in support. Ocelot's had to use that flash up. The ignite was already burned on him. Shivana was in the right place. But yeah, just baiting him in there. Ocelot just standing there, hoping he went for it. But uh, I don't think he was quite expecting an ulti straight in his face like that. Yeah. And quickly had to escape out of it. Candy Panda, meanwhile, forcing Yellowstar to back away. Yellowstar, like you say, has been back aboard. Got that double Doran's blade. Having to eat those potions already. And Candy Panda being a little bit more strong, a little bit more bossy down the bottom. They realize that the blue buff is up now, and SK are going to try to push it home. This didn't work out so well for them in the last game. This is going to be an important fight. Yeah, this is where they came unstuck in the last one. The thing this time, though, MoMA is fairly low, and I guess it depends where MoMA's actually going to stand. Oh, try steal. to take this blue buff, and it is stolen away by Dedrian. And that is pure annoyance for SK. MoMA actually portaling away. I was going to say that's a slightly dangerous position for him. Takes a couple of steps to the left and uh, we'll be fine with that one. Meanwhile, we have got N-Rated back into this bottom lane. There's a couple of shots more going in and Candy Panda using his quick draw to actually avoid the Zephyr Blade there of N-Rated. Zenith Blade, sorry, not Zephyr Blade. Yeah, and Blue Buff now. Down to the Janna. Given across to Ocelot, so that's immediate. This is, this is a full roll reversal here. The drain he just pulls that one out. So this is exactly like we saw again in the first game against the authority. Oh, Candy Panda again using the quick draw. Did got stunned this time out though. But they can see the damage turning straight towards N-Rated. And actually Yellowstar's gonna eat a few shots in the backside there. N-Rated quickly using his advantage to uh, get that ward down. Just seen a little invade again from the drain here now this time. Oh, and he's gotta be careful. He spotted, he used his ulti, went straight across towards Moa there. Cassiopeia, I think, actually did he use his ulti there? No, he didn't have it available, so had to back away. But yeah, using his ulti to escape that one. He really and Udi are coming up and clearing out the damage. So let's have a look at towards the top lane. You can see Renekton trying to build up towards that Brutalizer now. Has got that pink ward. He's obviously going to place it straight on top of the other pink ward, I reckon, and uh, clear that one out. Which uh, So he has no defense at the moment. Kennen, well, he has got that one kill early on, trying to get towards that Hextic Revolver. 1-0 uh, up there. He's got that double amplifying time, so both top laners trying to build, trying their best to get up there, but they are very even in, count in CS at the moment. And uh, Momo and Ocelot, well... We can see they already went for that kill. Didn't quite work out from Double Doran's rings between the two of them. And uh, 54 CS to 64 CS. So slight advantage for Ocelot. Candy Panda down the bottom, though, again is behind in CS to Yellowstar. Yeah, once again. Um, but we've seen that change as well. So you know, very interesting stuff um, going on this one. Very tight game. I mean, we've got, what, 700 gold difference. With the, uh, with the first blood coming in there as well. So overall, just a really, I guess you could say because it's that third and final game, neither team wants to do anything stupid and take too many risks. The, the counter jungle that we've seen from both Shivana and Udia though, has shown that they are uh, you know, willing to take that little extra step. Also, uh, the fact that Momo hung around in that fight in middle early on when he felt like he could actually take down Cassiopeia. He had the help coming in from the side. Ocelot actually deciding, okay, I need the wraiths, I need the wolves, I really need to get farming here as quickly as possible. Actually, ping goes down, and uh, Kevin is on his turret, but will so as go back. Yeah, the ping went down there, and Dedrian isn't going to find anything from that one. There was that ward in the top side of the river, so so as won't have any trouble with that whatsoever. Yeah, back in straight away, and they know Linux there as well. They've got a ward to the left hand side. Ocelot is just worn out, but he's well aware of it. And you can see he's not even pushing forward. Quite happy to let that lane push forward itself. Shivana just having to back away. He's going to go get Golems. Lennart kind of in no man's land at the moment. I think he's going to come across and try and steal the Wraiths away. Cassiopeia needs to be alert to that. He has no vision of it. And I think Lennart might be able to steal away some Wraiths here. Yeah, goes straight in. Smites the big one. Backs away. Uh, is he going to clear the camp? Oh, he might do. <laughs> he might not have a choice. Phoenix Stans might do it for him. Leona's going walking as well. Pink goes down. Ocelot spotted him with his ward. But... Again, we've moved into a passive phase, and I actually expect this one to be a fairly passive game, mainly for the fact there's so much on the line. You now you could be going out of a hundred thousand dollar tournament. The semi-finals are wait for whoever picks up the, this game. It is a very tense one. Quick draw coming out from Candy Panda. Howling Gal just actually missing on towards Yellowstar. Does manage to catch him with an ulti, but uh, it's not going to be enough. And Yellowstar will back away. He's going to have to go buy 
see what sort of gold he's got on him. He has got 1,500. Uh, sorry, I, I'm looking at... Uh, in fact, Ocelot's got 1,500 on him. Ocelot's getting dived on by Momo. Will he manage to plant the ulti? Linux possibly going to dive towards the turret. Not going to be enough. Slow goes down as well. Linux backs away from that one. And, well, I think I just caught a glimpse of Kevin, yeah, getting low as well. So, across the map at the moment, you can see they're pushing on. Renekton's in a little bit of trouble in this top lane, as you would expect. So Sauer's winning down that top lane. Yellow start effectively winning in the bottom lane, but he's uh, pretty even in CS at the moment. Yeah, and we've seen how uh, effectively winning it can actually change when Kaki mm. Panda's involved um, in that bottom lane as well. Yellow start coming back in. What's he uh, picked himself up? So Sheen complete now for Yellow Star, double Doran's blade. Graves coming back down as well. He's triple Doran's Blade plus a cloth armor, and those Berserker's Greaves are done. Still uh, level one boots for Yellow Star. So no, he is that little bit behind in terms of his item. It's only seven CS difference, actually. But the top is uh, also only four, but the kill um, is in there, and already that Will of the Ancients is complete for Kennen. Yeah. So uh, that's a big, big thing. And Renekton, I feel, going to have a bit of trouble in there. They've struggled to get Udia um, in there to have the, those real gags recently on Renekton. Obviously, he can uh, move away pretty quickly, got good mobility but Ken and Hans as well. Lots of mobility actually across the map in this game. Yeah, indeed, and that's a, that's a horrible thing to have early on, that Will of the Ancients, <laughs> to go with uh, Fizz, just keep a mind down the bottom and the top, and you see that purple ward actually was placed by Kevin. Linak has actually invaded a little bit here, Linak with the Oracle as well. He's been very, very aggressive. You can see Kenan's now forcing the fight on towards Kevin. He has popped his ulti, but he's managed to flash out of it. I don't think Linak's going to dive this one. Does has to be very careful, especially with that Oracle used. Doesn't want to have to lose that one out. Blue buff now will be given across to Ocelot as well. Down the bottom, they continue to farm very passively down the bottom here. They're not really causing the aggression, but Candy Panda has been far more in this game than he has been the last few. You can see he went gone for triple Dorans this time against Yellow Star's uh, Sheen that he'd already built up, and he is actually catching up on CS as well. He's regaining that lead that he had. Kevin doing a great job of escaping so as his damage, but he is pushed against that tower once again. We are seeing movement over Dragon, here for maybe. Dragon. Yeah, Dragon, Dead Dragon coming in, he is currently level 8, Candy Panda there, Ocelot comes down, Nif is around as well, there is no vision actually, uh, there was one in the back of that Dragon Pit, but I'm not sure that they can really offer too much, N-Rated is in the pack and he is actually going to get right in the middle of them, Dead Dragon is surely going to go down, well the Fizz ulti was around about half a mile away uh, from that entire SK <laughs> team and they will stay alive for this one, Dragon is still there, and again, this game is looking very similar. We saw a little bit of edgy play around blue. There's another little bit of play around dragon. It's panning out into a, uh, a similar kind of thing, except we're 15 minutes in almost, and it's 1-0, and it's hard to tell, actually, who's going to be coming out on top of this one. Yeah, and while all that was happening, you saw Renekton catch engine diving on Candy Panda, actually being caught out badly as well. Actually going very aggressive. Can Corky finish him off? The ult he does land. The heal comes out as well, though, from Yellow Star. Meanwhile, he lands a Zephyr, tries to pack him away. He's trying to hold out enough, trying to bait him in there, and you can see Cassiope was making his way down there, but Ocelot didn't manage to get down in time to pick up any kills. Candy Panda hanging on still, and he's not gone back. He wants to just use the lifestyle of his Doran's Blade to keep in there. What I was going to say is Renekton actually caught on towards Co uh, Kennen, sorry, at the top there, had used his ulti and actually nearly took Soaz out while that big fight was happening. So happening across the map is still only 1-0 though, still only 1k goal difference. So you can see that against Authority, are managing to farm it quite well, along with that single kill they've got. We have got Dedrayan actually with an Oracle's clearing out the river now, and you can see Soaz actually immediately warding up. Kevin, as he uh, went back, went for the no magic mantle. Also, uh, Longsword, that brutalizer, as he said from earlier, is still only the uh, tier one boots as to yet. Well, Ken Kenning got the same, but he went for that health with the giant's belts just to uh, stay a little bit safer. Moment feeling he needs to have those wraiths away as well. The CS in the middle is currently 123 to 116, so remaining very, very close. Bottom 132 to 116. In fact, that's almost identical uh, differences amongst the pack, those two teams. And really, 1.1k gold we saw. In, uh, in that second game, actually, after 40 minutes, the gold was bang on even. Here we see, finally, the uh, 
And their peak coming in towards top does have an oracle. But one thing that they've not counted on here is the fact that Dedrian was up in that top brush. So as not going to be baited out into it. But they will be able to clear out this ward at least. And Dedrian can go back on his way. Linux, uh, I think, fancying a little bit of a steal here. Hoping to catch him out at some point in that jungle. But both teams still very, very edgy play. Yeah, very edgy. There was about three ganks on across the map there. Were, you can see the bottom lane was starting to push Corky. Yellow Star has been damaged a little bit. You can see that bottom tower taken out to half. We also had Leona sat ready and waiting to try and jump on Ocelot. Linak was not sure which way he wanted to go. We've got uh, Shivana peeking around at the top lane. And they've all managed to back away now. Um, will Renekton go for anything here? You can see Dedrain coming down. They're just clearing wards and both junglers with that oracle are having a very good job at clearing things out ping went down actually on linux so he doesn't want to pull that you can see he's looking for wards actually looking for saying sk have not not got anything really around it you can see that target is on his head still so they well aware of his position now they've just seen shivana shivana's have to back away from this one has got your burnout just going to walk away from that one no problem at all meanwhile down the bottom you can see the double ad uh, sorry the ad in support having a little poke back and forward waiting for shivana to get around and clear this oracle out Against all authority, want this. Kennedy is now moving in, has gone back and bought, got that uh, Willie the Ancients, and nearly actually built up to a Rylers. Only single pair, pair of boots. Kevin now coming down as well with that Brutalizer. This is going to be the first big team engage, Joe. Certainly looks that way. Kevin moving in there. Moment so is actually waiting here. Maybe they're going to try and jump in and take down, uh, or have a go at taking down Ocelot. We're going to find out here in just a second. The other three from AA all, all, are all in the bottom river area linak just checking once again with that oracle very calculated oracle play actually from both teams Dedrian is going to clear out a ward in this brush on the side and actually linak yeah he puts it i was going to say he doesn't want to get caught out put the stun on kevin just so he remains safe there's pings going left right and center actually from sk gaming at this point and both teams are so so wary of actually making the engagement Nif needs to be careful that he doesn't get caught out and we are going to see that same play landing Nif going low and actually will get himself away from that one against all authority have they done enough to stop sk pushing in though for this dragon moment needs to be careful that he doesn't get left out if a fight actually uh, kicks off here and triple a have been split up linak and n-rated at the bottom side yellow star and Moma at the top. We've also got Soaz, who's uh, just farming the bottom lane, as you do when your team's gearing up for uh, that dragon fight. Will finally work his way in there. Ocelot also just trying to make his presence felt, forcing AA to back off. Dragon still stands there. And he's probably wondering why he's still alive when there's so much action going <laughs> off around him. And is Kevin actually going to go home here? I feel this could be a bit of a mistake from Kevin. Yeah, he has Kevin. gone home. He was kind of visible as well when he went home. Fizz is yeah. continuing to push the middle out. I'm sure if Fizz will come down now, now that Kevin's left. Actually, they've, uh, we've Candy Panda's down in this bottom lane. Yellow Star is going to come up. And look at this, Dave. SK have almost given away this dragon. It's going to be on half HP at least before they can get anything done. And against all authority, decide mm, not going to be worth it. By this time, Kevin is now back in. Dragon is pulled out. Will be reset for 300 HP. Well, they are going to look to try and finish things off. And Dragon will go over to against all authority. Doesn't look like a fight's going to kick off. Actually, it will. Kevin's going to start to work in. Flash used by Lina. Look at this. Ocelot is in behind. Use his ultimate on Soaz. But Ocelot is going to go very 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 down that's not good news and n-rated will actually flash away from it as well candy panda out of mana and the first kill in that little engagement onto ocelot it was a very very aggressive move i i understand almost why he did it because yeah. he expected they were as a team going to run through that tribosh and he wanted to get behind them and say there you go you're all you know under my ulti now and that would have been a different story if that had actually happened yeah it would have been brilliant for the rest of the team were backing away but they all turn around and engage they're like yeah. oh we're gonna fight as well so uh, you know a aggressive flash can be a bad thing and it just didn't work out this time the ulti did land on one could have been brilliant if it had caught all three of them it would have been simply a, a turning point and they would have been in, a, in the driving seat as it is they lost the dragon they're 2-0 down and it's suddenly against all authorities in position again and the yellow star continuing to hammer away on that bottom lane 180 cs now to 160 so he's already pulled a 20 cs lead while that little 
debate was going on. They just weren't quite whether to, sure whether to fight. Kevin went in, kind of caught the wrong person, went for out. It was Udir, actually, they caught out, which is probably just the last person in that team fight yeah. you wanted to catch out here. Kevin's got to be careful here. He's got Fizz and Soaz there. Sneaking in, yeah, you can see Soaz trying to put a questionable shuriken across, trying to catch him out. Where the realizes that Momo went in there, if he doesn't, he might do now because I don't think they can hear us on stage. They can't really. I mean, I've been up there and I can't even hear myself when I'm up there, so it's it's pretty bad for them. So, yeah, they, they don't give too much away for them. So, Kevin, though. Is going to come in. Fizz actually chopped the waters going early oh, and wow. catching him beautifully. That's definitely going to be a kill. Who will pick it up? That's the question. Momo is going to play playful trickster and say, Thanks, I'll take that one. Meanwhile, down the bottom, he can see Nif just to even do Monsoon. Just about escaped that one. Yellow Star, has he got a Valkyrie? Is he going to die for it? Not too sure whether he wants to use it. You can see he's trying to bide his time to get the ulti straight diagonally across. Instead, he's had to uh, back away from that one. Shivana having to defend up the top there, but it is 3 0, and that was a very well executed kill at the top. And really, really patiently played as well by Momo, waiting that brush for a good 30 seconds. And we can see down at the bottom, continued pressure from Yellow Star onto Candy Panda. And actually, it was the shield that really kept Janna alive during that last one. And Nif, he's coming back into lane with uh, having not regenerated his full health or his full mana. Uh, but he's going to come in there anyway, just to try and uh, keep that tower protected. Although it's only Yellow Star there, he's not got much power, but look at the damage already that Yellow Star's putting out. He's got BF Sword um, finishing there, decided to go for that rather than you now headed up to that phage. Meanwhile, up at top, Soas has finished off that turret, and once again, you're going to say, you know, winning that lane out. Yeah. Oh. And the bottom lane has been one out. Kevin actually diving on towards Soaz there. But uh, you can see Dedrayan was a little bit too far away to actually get involved in that. Had already used his ulti to escape Soaz. And Kevin just oh, forcing Candy him away. Down the bottom. bottom is going to get totally destroyed as well. That was a gag coming in from Udia. Got the uh, stun off. And actually, Janna uh, flashed away from, mm. <laughs> from a friend. <laughs> he was on pretty much full health as well there, Janna. Uh, so he's like, sorry, Candy Panda. I'm, you're dead. Uh, you're dead. <laughs> and you know, I'm in support, but I'm alive. Yeah. Uh, that's how it's going to go down. Uh, we're looking like Moma could do a significant amount of damage, if not actually take it down uh, on this middle turret. I should imagine he will by the time Dedreon gets in here. Chose, uh, interesting actually, chose not to use Burnout and get there a little bit quicker and maybe hold the turret, uh, you know, for that one last time. Decides just to let it go. Ocelot headed. Is he going to go up north? No, just wants uh, a little bit of farm, stealing away from Dedrian. And up at top, Soaz may have a little bit of trouble. We have Nif moving in there. Kevin just gets stunned, and Soaz is just going to get himself away. No real problems. But 4-0, it is to against authority. No one making the mistake just yet of being caught out too much by them. And, of course, has not died. Be meanwhile, Wits End is now finished on Udia, so uh, now, as well as being that tanky beast that he is, he's also going to start to do a scary amount of damage. Yeah, and the thing for against authority, I'm just going to look towards the top there, they're diving on towards Kevin, you can see Yellowstar and Soaz have managed to stun him, just about dashes away, will he finish him off? He will, Ellis, Yellowstar picking up the kill there with an ulti, very nicely played, the rest of SK are closing in around him, but they're going to back away in plenty of time, Kenan and, <laughs> Kenan and Gorky probably the most manoeuvrable they could be, wow, did you see the damage that one single yeah. shuriken just did on Nif, incredible stuff, so he's immediately going to back away from that one, but as I was about to mention, Willie the Ancient Stack is going to work so well, you can see the flash from Nif having to be used there, we will the diamond towards Ocelot. Ocelot having to use the flash. Chum the water's coming across. Meanwhile, Dedrayan having to use his kit. Force them away there. I think it was Candy Panda that blew them all backwards. So monsoon from Nif as well. But wow, SK are actually starting to be in a little bit of trouble here and fearful for their lives because every time they go somewhere, they get caught out. Meanwhile, Linek is just hammering away on this middle turret. Turns around, goes towards Candy Panda, put, puts a quick stun in his face and going, OK. 3v1's a little bit too much and will go back, but they are looking very, very strong. Like I said, 5-0 uh, up, 1-0-3 Kennen is going to be strong, but with Fizz alongside him, who's nearly got that Rabadon's death cap already, and the Sheen, that Chum the Waters is going to be painful. Yeah, and the worst thing there for SK is they came in to defend, and they ended up using all their ultis to actually escape and yeah. not go down, which is something that kind of shows where the game's at right now when you have to having to use your ultimate so defensively after uh, one of your teammates get gets caught out of that Kenan, as you said will the ancients done realize is done blasting one in there up at currently 300 ap there or thereabouts and uh, actually got more than fizz at the moment but needlessly large rod sheen 
and the blasting one is finished meanwhile dragon has respawned and again against all authorities coming in from uh, two different sides it's corky and leona down on the bottom fizz and kenan up in the uh, middle lane so as not too worried about it actually he's just farming 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 completely he's up to uh, 206 The AA basically played alone and SK were just pulled mm. in every which direction except anything that helped them in any way. They lost the turret, middle was all farmed out, then they lost Dragon and they didn't get anything for their pleasure. Yeah, this is looking very much like the SK the first game where they just, the timings are off at the moment. They didn't seem to have control. Remember they invaded the blue early on, managed to steal that. They didn't follow that up though. Yeah. They, they, weren't in, they didn't go for the second time. They knew when it was going to spawn, but they didn't well, they get in there the in lizard, time. right? Yeah. In that game, and that was the problem for him, I think. Yeah. So Soaz just clears out that wave. Soaz now looking very strong. You can see Ryla's been completed along with that Will in the Ancients he's had long ago. Will in the Ancients has been completed by Cassiopeia, though. Cassiopeia, 200 CS, 203 CS for Fizz. Has got that Rabadon's death cap complete. You can see that Trinity Force just popping up there. So Trinity Force and Bloodthirst are now for Corky Cookie looking very strong. So Yellow Star, man on a mission in this game after having a, a very aggressive face in the last game. They will manage to pick up the kill there on the tower. Will Linak go down? He has been caught out, but they're not going to follow it up there. They do not feel it is the right time, especially to rush into a bush like that. They could have Kennan coming down. Will he manage to catch anyone out? It's the Drain they want. He has got that Oracle on. He's just trying to farm up and back away. But against all authority, are feeling very strong here. You can see they are a 9k up in gold. That is a big, uh, sorry, 8k up, I can't count, uh, in a big advantage. But 3 2 in towers. SK are not out of this one yet. They still have a big team fight in them. If that Cassiopeia ulti can be landing at the right time, if Renekton can get in at the right time, if if Dredrian on Shivana can get in at the right time, it will turn things. But as it is at the moment, this combo here, Soaz and Moma has been so so strong in throughout this. You can see one zero three. There's only been five kills throughout this game. He's been in the right place at the right time. Soaz doing a fantastic job. Linak as well has been causing problems for them. He's been clearing out those wards very well, and now there's going to be a fight for the blue buff, Joe. Yeah, and as you said, all the right people have got kills on AA, and all the wrong. Uh, people are dead actually on the other side for SK. Uh, it's only the support in the jungler that have not actually gone down. All the rest, uh, Renekton three times not gone good. Here we go then. Actually, Linak in the mix of things, and Kevin's gonna dive straight in there. Immediately do nuke down to minus um, <laughs> at least half HP. There goes the ultimate from uh, Momo as well. Candy Panda going very low, uses a flash to get away. Linak not finished just yet. There goes the ulti across, but here is Kennen, and this is gonna go all kinds of bad for SK now. As Dedrian uses his ultimate to get away from the fight again. It was a double for Corky in there, and guess what? Not a single kill for SK Gaming again. Yeah, that was not good, and they had the uh, blue stolen away but to start with, so they should have just backed straight away, but very good initiation from N-Rated once again on Leona, just catching them out perfectly, and you know, they're, they're in an enclosed position, they think it couldn't have got easier for them, so it's just, yeah. <laughs> especially for Chum the Waters, it's like you're in a perfect spot, Chum the Waters covers that whole area you're stood in, I think I'm going to use that, and so has obviously Flash ulti and across, so has is very aggressive in this one, 0105, Shivana, uh, sorry, Shirelia's reverie been completed now on Leona, Leona just playing a magnificent Magnificent game. You, you can't give these supports enough support, especially when it's Leona as well. He knows an unusual support player from uh, Against All Authorities. I'm not too sure whether SK were kind of expecting it really. Obviously, it's worked very well for them. We've seen it, for, especially from a picture of a goose, I believe, is the one I'm thinking of, which yeah. you know now as uh, MTWNA. Uh, but as it is, it's Against All Authorities are looking strong. 8 0. We have seen turnarounds from this far ahead, but not very often. Dignitas will be aware well of that because it happened to them against Fnatic. We saw uh, Moscow 5 turning down a 9-0 deficit against uh, Curse Gaming. But as it is stands at the moment, it's going to have to be another great, great Baron steal, I feel, for SK here. Yeah, that Baron steal is going to have to come into play for sure. They have to make sure that AA don't get it for free. 
and then aren't able to uh, do too much damage with, damage with it. As we uh, look now, it seems like they're almost ready. A couple of pings going down, which uh, to me indicate ward positions maybe that they want to have down and ready before they start off this Baron. Linak has made sure that that Baron pit is actually cleared out of wards. Against all authority. Well, they decide, no, now's not the time. Let's go back towards the uh, middle area and maybe push that lane. Oh, oh to from Janna didn't save Ocelot though and Janna is barely going to escape this one I think yep yellow star leaves it alone and decides well let's take the turret down let's take this inhibitor and then I guess they're going to back away and uh, go in for that Baron pickup that makes the uh, most sense from this point right now with Cassiopeia out there's not a lot I think that SK can really do is 28 seconds till he comes up Dedrian already starting to work his way in there is so as actually just gonna hold the ground basically and now they're gonna push top so uh, going for the turrets rather than going for that Baron which I think they could have had there to be quite honest almost for free. Uh, they, they, they had to be very careful because obviously they've still got the drain in there they could obviously get in and get their smite on and as it stands though you know they they were right to back away from that one I think so you know it was it was a good call from against the authority. They're taking that inner turret. Now they're in a position where they could back off and maybe try and bait them in. You can see Cassiopeia how caught there. Yeah, and. <laughs> It almost worked out for him as well when he got that ultimate across, except the guys behind just managed to uh, yeah. power on through anyway and get those kills in. Super Minions obviously streaming down the middle again. There's Candy Panda, which is one of these the, one of these things that we've pointed out time and time again. If you let him farm, he will farm, and he will farm more than you really needed to. He's currently 30 CS behind Corky. Obviously... Uh, way behind him behind kills him. as well and he could get himself caught out which is something that candy panda struggle with actually uses quick draw yellow star says well that's not going to help you very much because guess what i'm going to valkyrie straight over the top and again candy panda gets caught out and that's something that we've uh, in my opinion seen a little bit too much in this best of three from candy panda we have we saw him on cog where he got caught out three or four times and yet against the authorities have been quick to pounce on him meanwhile you can see the purple turret has gone down mama's now in all oh, sorts right. of trouble he's going to get caught out though by sk so finally picking up a kill on that trickster as it were but you can see the rest of against the authorities are starting to move around they oh. are going to get straight towards kevin ulti pop straight away kevin being stunned up he's not going to be able to get away from fail this one he's flash. trying his best you can see leona and a fail flash indeed was there now also in trouble he's trying to back away you can see the against the authorities this is like a damage ganking team just piling on through the rest of sk and they do manage to take him down the turret will follow surely there's not a lot that shivana and nif can do about this one and they're just going to hammer away at that yellow star has played magnificently again seven zero three but a Soaz has just been initiating everything on Kennen. And you know what? He's played brilliantly throughout these three matches. And it's looking like against authorities are in a strong, strong position now. 13-1, massive goal difference. I can't even count it. It's that big. And uh, I, I can't go past 10. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, SK, yeah, they just... I don't know what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to turtle it up and just hope that they inhibit the spawns and just pray that against authorities don't choose to go for Baron. Yeah, but they surely will do at this yeah. stage. I mean, top inhibitor down, middle inhibitor down. It only takes basically one or two kills now, and they're going to push straight on through. And there's not going to be a lot that SK can actually do about it. Yellow Star is getting himself home. There's actually no vision whatsoever around Baron, as I say that, Dedrian does put a ward down in the back of the pit which uh, you'd imagine will be cleared out straight away because guess what? Linux not died yet, and he's had that Oracle on for well, mm. since about five minutes into the game, I think. <laughs> so uh, really proving its worth in this one. They're going to clear out this jungle. Actually, there's a stack going on bottom. It looks like against authority you're going to go for, uh, you know, the tutorial way to finish off this game, <laughs> which is make sure you get all the turrets down, all the inhibitors, and then start to push in there as well. They've decided to uh, go for it without 
going down for that Baron pickup. They've got a decent stream of minions coming in here. And look at Dedrian going so very low right away. And Chum Waters is going to come in. And Ocelot surely going to be picked off. He uses his ultimate, which gets Lina Kin all to use by Janna as well. And well, that's just going to give the turret over. Moment dives in as well. Start damage out to keep them away from this inhibitor. And that will be gifted over to SK, uh, over to against authority. So SK really not got much to work with right now. For me, so has been so so strong on Kennen. Actually, uh, got his Zonya's hourglass built up now. So uh, even if they wanted to kill him, they probably can't. And they're going to back away. And this is without doubt the uh, the Baron pick up for against all authority. And SK can't do anything because guess what? There's minions all over their base anyway. Yeah, they're having to fend off them super minions from the middle, and now the sides are already being pushed. And that will be a free Baron for against all authorities. But uh, it has nothing SK going to do about it. And now, you know, against all authority, they're going to have to throw this hard. They're literally going to have to walk off stage and let someone in the audience play. And even then, I don't think they could lose this game because it is a very, very one-sided match. So Dignitas are going to be looking at this and thinking, well, you know what? We absolutely spank these in the uh, group stage, but they can't take that for granted because against all authorities will have learned. They yep. said themselves, we weren't quite sure what to do against the American teams. That may play in Dignitas' favor, but they're going to be watching this one very, very closely. You said yourself, they've been practicing today as well. Obviously, CLG versus Moscow 5 is the other semi-finals as well if anyone missed that one it is going to be two two fantastic fantastic games obviously best of threes again against all authority are they going to drive this one home joe i think they will yeah i think they will as well with that baron buff on they've obviously uh, gone for a bunch of elixirs left right and center and they're just going to look for a decent engagement candy panda already knocked down to around about half hp and uh, the ultis are up across the board for against all authority. So it's just going to take Kennen to actually dive in there and cause all kinds of problems. Candy Panda, is he going to go down? And he was uh, actually Leona who got in there. Ocelot starting to fall. Ultimate pulled off by Dedrian, but I'm not sure that's going to really offer anything in terms of a savior for SK Gaming. These two turrets going to be hammered away. Actually, there's three or four, five, six super minions. Can't even count them as that many. This Nexus is going to go down and against all authority, you're going to win this great best of three and go through into the semi-final. Yeah, and what a fantastic game it was, really. Best of three. We went all the way through those three matches. That's okay. Well, you know what? They're going to feel a little bit down on this one. It is the quarter-final stage for them again, I'm afraid. But again...